and welcome back to part two of our Melbourne trip. It's still Boxing Day, and we've done with the Boxing Day test. <laughs> We're slightly on the intoxicated side of things, but we've got an A-League match coming up for you right now. It's Melbourne Victory v Western United. And yes, we're going to see it. Just I'm how... chucking flares on the field. Yeah, we're chucking flares on the field in the 21st minute. I don't advocate that by the way. <laughs> All the best to us getting in, let's get into it. Firstly, before we go, we need a breathalyzer, Sam, just for statistical purposes. So RBT, is he over or under? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not gonna work, because you stop. Ah. You stop halfway. <laughs> you fucking idiot. It doesn't work because you stop. Repping this is dangerous in these parts of town, but we're doing it. Sam's got to really piss, so we'll tune in very shortly to the RBT test. Do you need a plan B? Sam has chosen a rather public a space. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Sam's been to the Cove before. Yeah. He's an avid Sydney FC supporter. Am and I? So, yes, you are, mate. You've got an undefeated record <laughs> whenever Sydney FC plays. I guess I am. And Souls has been to one A-League game where we lost 4-0 here in Melbourne, actually, earlier in the year. Don't rush me, baby. Don't rush, baby. Can someone please send help? Thank you. Uh, we were just waiting ages for the light to finally change colour. No, the swan's hat. Frick me. God, that was a heart attack and a half. <laughs> It's, it's fucking content. <laughs> it's scripted. <laughs> Where's gate two? Okay, real chat. It's the 20th minute, so any planned walkout in the 20th minute has theoretically already uh -oh. happened. Any planned pitch invasion has theoretically already happened. So people have... So we've I missed, think we're alright. We've missed the aggressive part. We're okay. Apparently Melbourne Victory supporters aren't being let in at all because of the sanctions handed down. I've never been to the stadium. You've never been to the I've stadium? I've never been to the stadium. I've lived... I've, I've been a Melbourneian my whole life. Sam's losing his stadium virginity to Amy Park. Yippee! Ah, look at these unfit fuckers. There's your victory active support. That's what happens when you throw flares on the pitch. You get sanctions. Guarding <laughs> nothing. Yeah, what are they guarding? <laughs> they're all actually hiding under the seat. <laughs> and in the second half, they're all just going to emerge and run onto the field. He's sent. He's sent from the field. Sam, put away your victory shirt now. <laughs> I've been the offside trap. Oh, he's not a oh. 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 Time here at Amy Park. We've, we've got kick on, Sam's got kick on, he's got food. Beers, boys, beers. <laughs> it was an entertaining second half of the first half that we saw. Uh, Western are up 1 0. Good thing, let's hope they twat them 3 0. I'm gonna say, let's, say, let's beat them 3 0. Retribution for the shit they did on fucking last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I still can't, I'm still taken back by the amount of seckies that are manning the empty victory support. Literally empty. <laughs> like, look at that. About five seconds there. <laughs> My first time in Amy Park, I gotta say, this place is great. <laughs> what would you rate it compared to the other stadiums in Melbourne? Like your marbles? Oh, I mean, MCG's gotta be at the top, yeah. right? 
this is better than better Marvel. Than, better than Marvel? Fucking cool. Oh, I'd play this, mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd play the second probably. Amy Park breaks into the top three stadiums in Melbourne. According to Sam. Woo. Let's go Western Let's United. Go. Call the Swannies. Darn the bucket Swannies. Explore. Find the cup holders. Find where the cup holders. time is it? It's Bumble time. Bumble time. Bumble time. Anyone in the city? Uh, Hit up the dares. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they had five seconds there because they needed them to go find where that ball went because it fucking disappeared. Oh, hey. Show them the card, show them the card. Oh, surely. Oh, ball. Oh. One more. Trying the RBT again. Predictions. Predictions at home, over or under. You did blow shit, but it detected something. 0.02 with like a third of a blow or something. Yeah. No fucking way. I feel like it's high. Nah. That is an instrument error if ever I've seen one. Yeah, I agree. So now I'm going to do a BAC. I think the instrument's incorrect, but what do I do? Three, two, one, four. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Bullshit. 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 0, 0.00, mate. I'm sober as a cat. He's 0.1 at least. At least 0 .1. I admit it, though. Okay, well, I'm 0.02 then. I'm sorry, right. no, we've got it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to listen to me. Don't tell me how to drive. You are breaking the drink. She's definitely done a dent, mate. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Oi. Oh, good ball. Oh, not so good ball. Shoot, hit it. Oh. Smack it. Hey! Oh, oh my word. Sorry you missed that, the camera has just run out of battery. We've been using it a lot today. Um, but yeah, what a save. Stop it time. good was that lads yes western united got the chockies over sydney fc's arch rival melbourne victory it's always good to see them be defeated especially in their own home turf at amy park and because there's no victory supporters sydney victory <laughs> sydney fc forza sydney fc forza victoria forza victoria but not melbourne victory <laughs> this is where we say goodbye sam yeah Okay. Thanks for dabbing along with us on Boxing Day. No worries. I don't know if I'll see you for the rest of our trip, but Probably thanks for We not. might not. This vlog doesn't end here, by the way. We've got a lot coming up tomorrow, but I'll see you soon, Sam. Catch you Merry soon. Christmas. Have a happy Merry new Christmas. year. And we'll happy see you in the new year for happy a new big year. bender. Big bender. Big bender with Sambo and Dom coming up. You'll see it. Later. Righto, so we're at the Space Hotel. I will give you a tour of the hotel. Apparently yeah, there's an American go, frat party go. happening. I'll see you tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow. And catch you on the flip of the water park vlog. It's, it's gonna cold. be 37 degrees. I'm just gonna prove to you that it's not a door. Comfy little tiny bed, television, scenery, window, aircon, bench, bed. I am tempted to pass out. There's actually a sauna and a spa, apparently. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ooh. 
On the eighth floor, there's a roof deck. On the second floor, there's a cinema. On the fifth floor, there's a kitchen and a laundry. So yeah, oh, that's about it. I'm so tired, lads. Welcome back to Sports Kid. It's the second part of this vlog. We're in the water park, in the volcano section. It's erupted, everything's going down. Water park, adventure park, it's currently 21 degrees. I dropped me AirPods. It's gonna be 37 today. And a Tori Macca's feed. What do we got here? The edited McMuffin without egg, because I can't have direct eggs. We've got hash browns in there as well. And we're keen to try later. I hear the chocolate ice cream, especially in the McFlurry. That is a must. We're back on the road on the way to back Fun Fields. Have a look at this. Look at that massive line. You can't really see it very well. No one extend my hand out further because I don't want my phone to be recording the side of the road. <laughs> Dropping it out the window. We're literally right there, but it's a, it's a traffic jam right now, mate. It's 37 yeah, yeah, turn, turn degrees, the everyone. Turn the camera out. Welcome to copyright theme parks. I'm surprised Jurassic Park hasn't called them up for that. There it is. It's up there. It's behind those trees. If we ever get out of the car park, we'll show you what it looks like. Everything's flown off. <laughs> Which way? That way. That way. That way. That way. Better head in. This will be the last you see from the phone. Everything from here on in will be the GoPro until lunch. Dab on. What's the Zeke? So it's already instantly starts filming. But due to the fact that we weren't able to film them with the GoPro, unfortunately, we transferred them into audio clips. They're basically black box recordings of our experience going down the slides with awesome visuals coming up. You'll see in a moment. Go, 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 go. Lights out and away we go. Going through the first turn. The through the chicane, through the chicane. We're at Monaco now. It's a long left hander into the tunnel at Monaco. Full turns, full turns. We're taking over Matt for Sapphire. Full speed, purple sectors, purple Woo! sectors. Oh, yes, they're off to the gravel. They're off to wow. the gravel. Oh, they're wiped out. They're wiped out. We're trying to check our turn. And it's red flag, red flag, red flag. We've got Hulkenberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going backwards. you got to try it. Taste the zinc. Taste the rainbow, mate. We've got to try out the slingshot. Although we only tried it once because we're not going to be here spending three quarters of our time lining up to try the slingshot. The G Wave, that's where it's at. That's where we're going. All this zinc is not going to be clear in about five seconds' time. That's all I'm telling you. Cruising altitude, cruising altitude. We're just cruising on our way to Sydney from Melbourne. Entering turbulence, entering turbulence. Might be turbulence might be expected. Whoa, so it does with, with dive, 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 he wants to Let's go, go. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't Very know. Often. We just, that way. We just did the G-Wave. Oh, we got to race the go-karts. Did the go kart Wait, how slow are they actually? They are slow as. They're definitely kids' go-karts. Let's get some food, maybe. Okay, we're in the Volcano Beach area here at Funfields. This is the area where you're not allowed to bring alcohol or food or anything to eat because there's a cantina right there. But in the other places, it doesn't say you can't bring alcohol. So... If you want to enjoy your fun field experience with a bit of alcoholism and a bit of loss of senses and everything, we'll come back and do that next time then. So we're here in volcanoes every so often. I don't know how long the volcano erupts and then the waves become insane. So we're trying to get as close as we physically can before that volcano explodes over there. The waves are starting. It's like at the club but for kids. This is the learning experience for kids to push their way to the front in the club. Push, push, no push. Let's go. We're at the deepest part. Woo. The volcano is ours. We've conquered the volcano. You probably can't hear a word I'm saying. Time it so that you you go up as the wave comes and you won't get close. Oh my god. 
I think it's time for lunch. So here at the beach club, those are the options. Ah, uh, Calipo, the places you've been to. That's good kit. Everyone's just simultaneously left the wave pool, the volcano. It's a walkout, there's a protest, 20 minutes. Where's the flares? Who's gonna run on the pitch? Souls, do you have the flares? You going in the no. pool with the flares? Hydration saves the nation. Stay hydrated, folks. We're deciding what zinc colors and what pattern design from the routine. Cool. Eyeliner, <laughs> blush, lipsticks. I That's their like, pre-routine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love how every parent, every kid's walking past us saying, why do they have face paint on their face? And it's like, they're putting zinc on. It's colored sunscreen. It's zinc. It has a practical purpose, lads. I've got to merge this off. Put it on here so I can look like the Hulk. Nico Urkenberg. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make him angry. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what did you do? I just saw my name on the back of it. Second and final reapplication done. Avatar, the way of water. Why are we so not missing that? Okay, let's go. Part two. We missed the line by that much. That was the theme of the day. Earlier in the day, Channel 9 was here exploring the new Supernova ride, which is actually not too bad. Like, the drop's great, but I think everything else is overrated. So we missed it because they wanted to interview the group in front of us, right? And they said, no, nah, we don't want an interview. So we're like, We'll take an interview and then they just sort of like looked at everyone else and they're like, nah, nah, let's go, let's go. Can we take the GoPro down? Nah, 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 let's just get out of here. And then just now we get down and as soon as we get down, they're like, nah, we're closing the lines, we're closing the ride. We would have just made it. We would have been the last ones on the G-Wave, but instead we're here. We're here at the volcano, which has stopped erupting. I think it's just chilling for the rest of the day like us. Let's Urkenberg chill. Do what she said, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> what a day, what a day. What a day, why can't I be here in Melbourne when it's 37 degrees every day? I want to live here. So it's that fun time of the day when everyone has to leave and we have to change and everything. I'm waiting on souls. We're gonna go grab a fee very shortly. So long story short, we are at Souls' car. So I was waiting for him outside the changing room and then he just never appeared and then we were ushered out. So I was just like, yep, I'm just grabbing everything. Problem, I've got his phone. I found him at last. That very good. I think you're missing this. Oh, you don't say. Okay, let's go to Macca's. Ah. Oh, that is a proper Australian stinker. If you've ever gotten into a car after leaving it in the sun for eight hours or more, in 37 degree heat, you know what we're feeling right now. Ooh, it's stinking! Ooh. Imagine if you didn't have this. Ah oh, no. uh, yes, Macca's. Oh my days. No way, no thanks. I prefer to drive another 20 k to the next one, don't you, Souls? Yes. Oh my word. Turns out the 20 kilometer away drive through isn't any better. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? Dine in! Dine in! Dine in! Dine in! Dine in! He's reversing right over the hump. We're up on two wheels. We're Christian Horner in that Top Gun episode. Not Top Gun. We're Christian Horner in that Top Gear episode. La bouche gun. <laughs> Sorry, you called me at a bad time. So we're getting dinner apparently. Large McChicken's always the way to go. Santa, large, but this is the most important thing, guys. Customize item, get rid of the ice. I don't care if it's 37 degrees, you get rid of the ice because ice is just water and they just give it, it just dilutes your drink. You, you lose value for money. You've got to get a 60 cent now barbecue sauce. And yeah, what are you getting, Souls? You forgot your dessert. Oh, Oreo McFlurry. You can. This morning, you could pick chocolate flavor. 
But that goes to show how fucking popular it is. I guess we we're can, getting, we're we can getting do it later. later. We have to go to later. another Macus. Chicken! The crazy zinc hooligans got served. Dig in. On the hunt for another chocolate ice cream Macus. Back at the hotel, but we can't leave until the base drop. Oh yeah! Catch you tomorrow for the rest of our vlog. Ooh. See you souls. Cheers, Let's mate. Let's go. Okay, so what you didn't see was me going to Woolies, and it was so hot. Like it's 10 p.m. and it's. 31 degrees. What I dug up from Woolies was Kakadu Plum Australian Aged Cheddar Cheese. Kakadu Plum. Have you ever tried Kakadu Plum? Because I have, and it tastes like halfway between honey soy chicken and your regular sea salt. I just saved everyone from an adventure all the way out to Kakadu National Park to take their plums and taste them. It's almost honey soy chicken, but it's not. It's kakadu plum. Day three, third and final day. Overpacked everything as usual. I only have one hand. I've got to get out of the space hotel. So let's go. What on earth is the drive through in a car park? Yeah. Hi, can I take your order? By the way, your parking ticket's $4.50. Here at the underground overworld Maccas now. Surely this time. No, oh Deco did God. this twice already. We're on the prowl. We're going to another Macca's. We're going to Chadston Shopping Centre because we're going to watch Avatar later today. Oh, hello. This is Bird. Yeah, we're going to watch Chadston at Crown Hotel. Not Crown Hotel. Is it a hotel? Is it called Crown Hotel? What the fuck? We're going to watch Chadston at Crown Hotel. <laughs> Brand new movie, Chadston. <laughs> What's it about? Chadston. <laughs> Chadston Shopping Centre. We are going to watch Avatar at Crown Village Cinemas. But first, we're going to Chadston to check out what Chadston's all about. Because if you're new to Victoria, Chadston's one of those items that you have to tick off the list. It's one of those items where no one really knows why they go to Chadston, but everyone knows it exists, so you may as well go to Chadston. We're going to find out what it's all about. Welcome to Chadston, where you get to drive over a roundabout, legally. There's the Chadston VIP coach. My goodness, you know you are a shopping centre and a half when you have a coach bus that takes you to Chadston. He's going the wrong way, he's going the wrong way. Chadston GP, Chadston GP. Well, that was unsuccessful. It's an actual car park up there. Like, you've seen car parks, but then it's, that's a freaking car park. We're going to explore another level, another side of Chaddy. We found a sneaky side entrance. Everyone's going through the main entrance, but Souls. Right, he knows Chaddy like he knows code on a Saturday night. Inside out, he's here nine to five. I'm not here 9 to 5. 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., mate. What do you think I'm in? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we're in... The Sixers room. Here we go! Yippee! Yippee! Welcome to one of the seven wonders of Melbourne, Chadston Mall. There's a breaking performance here at Monza. Okay, that was a little bit early. That's too conservative into the corner, I'm afraid. But yeah, there's a big pilot F1 simulator here. Unfortunately, we can't try that because every slot is taken until Feb and then it disappears. Like, come on. You gotta give the F1 content, future content creator, a bit of access here. Jacob, you're here no, for I, don't, two days. I don't have Jacob, my, you're here for two days. my sports cub media pass, mate. Where is it? Come on, I'm waiting. That's a good shot. Oh, desserts, mate. Oh, oh, they oh my god. They the AFL store. Yippee. Oh, that could have been the Swans emblem. Oh, that could have been the Swans bear. <laughs> Premiership flag, Geelong. Jeez, look at all the merch you get when you win a flag. 
I would have been broke as fuck if the Swans won, actually. Oh my goodness, that is a clean hat. Oh, oh that's clean. Once again, kudos to Geelong for winning the Premiership. We'll be back next year, 2023. I'll be down in the dumps in terms of financial because I will have had all the Swans 2023 Premiers merch. You better believe it. Because I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm Jacob Garner. Welcome back to Sports Team. <laughs> Fresh as, give us a 360. So we have 35 minutes till the movie starts. Wait, seriously? Wait, I thought it starts at 1... 15. 15? Yeah. 1-5? One, 1-1-5. One, one, five. Five. Maximum fuel saving. Matt, I'm gonna need you to save fuel. Lewis, I need you to save fuel. Maximum fuel. We are not going to have enough fuel. Bono, my fuel's gone, man. My fuel's gone. Bit stop. Ted, down to you at the pit lane. Oh, we've got Matt Solomon coming in here to change tyres and fill up completely. Oh no, a bit of a slow stop on the right rear. Oh no, a bit of a delay. They can't get the wheel on. Oh no, oh dear, this is so costly. This is ruining his race. Oh, Matt Solomon was in pole position and he's dropping five, six, seven spots. Oh no. What are they doing down here at Team Mazda? Oh, that is shocking. We, they practiced this all week and they can't get it right. The race pressure got to them on race day. Look at the amount of concentration on his face. Souls just went full zen mode in there, like he was just focused on those numbers. Well that was the slowest pit stop I've ever seen. Yeah, we had to do tyres, we had to change out like the front wing, whole thing, the whole thing needed changing, you know? And we took the engine out, put it back in. Now took the engine out, put it back in, <laughs> changed an internal combustion engine mid-race. That's yeah, cheating, Sol. <laughs> You're gonna get heavily sanctioned by the FIA. FIA who? I don't know who FIA is. Parked. Gotta go fast. Amazing race segment part three, lads. <laughs> but we're our own cameraman on the amazing sprint. So we're gonna be the last team to arrive. Real chat. Don't do the amazing race. I know I said I wanted to do it. I'm still trying to convince you to do the amazing race with. There are no more non-eliminations oh, in the race. <laughs> so unfortunately, you have been, been eliminated, eliminated from the amazing race. Ouch. Well, Souls, mate, how was Avatar? For the third time? Yeah, good. <laughs> so box office revenue has you to thank. That's the reason why it's going to be the most watched. It's going to beat Endgame, it's going to smack it out of the water. It's probably not. But it was a good movie. I'm not spoiling anything, but everyone's there for the graphics, obviously. And you can imagine just how many unnecessary explosion scenes there are just because of the graphics. But it had a decent storyline to it. So I'm looking forward to Dude, the next every one. Every pixel on there was fake. But go watch it at your local cinema. Avatar The Way of Water. It turns out Souls wasn't wrong when he said that we look like avatars yesterday at the water park. <laughs> There's a photo I'm showing right now to refresh that fact. That draws a conclusion to our Melbourne trip, Boxing Day. It was a magnificent dab and a half. We're off to the airport. I'll show a bit of footage from there. But for one last time this year, goodbye Melbourne, my second home. Look at that beauty. I'll be seeing a lot more of you next year with my new AFL membership pass. <laughs> Souls are celebrating because I'm going home. One last one. I will see you, if I don't see you between now and April, I will see you in a few months time for the Formula, Formula One, One Grand Prix vlog of a lifetime. Just stay that, around, you've got to stick That's going to be one to watch, that's for sure. Stick around Ooh. on this channel, just Ooh. hit that subscribe button, hit the bells, and in April sometime you'll hit a ding ding ding, because we're going to have a massive vlog. I cannot wait for it. Till then, I may or may not see you for some upcoming vlogs, depending on our time. Depends, but it, depends. It's been an absolute pleasure again. Always. Cheers for Always. your help, driving us around, chauffeuring us around. Happy New Year, souls, and I'll see you in the new year. Catch you in the new one. Catch you in the flip. I've been your boy Sports Curb. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this vlog, it was a bit different. It had sports, as you usually expect, but it had some other entertainment as well. And boy, if you want to see more of that, you know where to click. I've been your boy. I'll see you in the new year. Happy New Year. Nico Ulkenberg!